I thought that uh, I would have uh, some time today at the lunch time to sit and relax and just write some notes what I want to tell you. But uh, Index on Censorship did such a great job that uh, the whole day we are running like crazy from trade union congress to interviews and to foreign office. And in between we had a good lunch, but it was so fast, so I didn't have any uh, time to sit and think how I would impress you with the old scary stories about Belarus. <laughs> uh, the easiest way to tell you that you could imagine uh, some stories uh, in your life that would be connected um, to your friends. So just imagine that uh, you sit in the evening, you talk to your friend, and uh, next day you get to know that uh, this friend is kidnapped and killed because he was a journalist who filmed uh, Belarusian uh, soldiers who fought uh, in Chechnya for both sides. And it was my husband and his friend Mitya Zawadsky who just sat, discussed their lives, their wives, their children, but next day he was kidnapped and killed. And uh, for 10 years we don't know um, where is he, his body, because we know that he was killed. And uh, imagine that uh, you have parents and your mom is telling you that uh, how long are you going to fight because I will die before everything would be changed. And uh, she dies. This is my husband's mom. Imagine that your father was beaten up near your apartment and the guy who did it uh, tell you don't go to police, I'm from the police. And uh, your father is taken to the hospital and doctors tell you that uh, he really survived because if it's just few millimeters high, he'll be dead, and it's my dad. Or imagine the person who just wants to produce a performance based on the British playwrights, Mark Ravenhill or Sarah King, and he is prohibited to make it. And uh, all over the country, all his performances that he produced before, they are cancelled, and there is a prohibition for his profession. And this is Vladimir Sherkin who sits here, he's the director of our theatre. Or imagine European uh, diplomat who tells you that there will be attention to your country in case if people are killed in the street. So I really don't want to imagine it. We want really to avoid the situation as it happens in Iran and knowing that um, Lukashenko, who is the ruler of the country, uh, he is the best friend of Ahmadinejad, Uba Chavez, and uh, Saddam Hussein, who already is not his friend, or Milosevic as well. Um, so they just follow steps of each other, and knowing what is happening in Iran with internet, and why Iran wants to block uh, all information about their country, we do afraid that if there is shutting down of internet in Belarus, there will be shooting down of people in Belarus. And the only thing that we could say is there are more people like Tom, Sam, uh, all people from Index on Censorship, all these greatest uh, British artists, if there are more politicians in the European Union and USA like these people, like all of you who are here tonight, then there will be no dictatorships all over the world. So uh, we do appeal to all of you uh, to continue this, uh, it's not fight, but I believe it's fight. Uh, it's non-violence resistance to dictatorship. This is what we try to promote. We don't want to do the same what Belarusian authority do. They crossed that line. They started to kill people. So that's why we promote non-violent resistance and we do need your help on it. And uh, we could scream, but uh, if you don't scream with us, there will be no result. <laughs>